Clark here from Random Doodle Time, and we're going to teach you how to tie a tie. Today we're going to learn about the different kinds of ties, the pros and cons of each kind of tie, and how to tie a double winter knot. So today the first tie we're going to be looking at is the clip-on tie. It uses a clip to secure it to the collar. It's very convenient, but it slips off easily with even the slightest movement. So I'm going to demonstrate right here. Generally, you want to tuck it under the collar like that. Yep. But it goes off very easy. It can really itch at your throat. So it may be convenient, but it's not the tightest hold. Come in a variety of different forms. Here are a few. So the second type of type we're going to be looking at is a zip-on tie. This is one of my personal favorites, mostly because it's such a secure fit. Um, for example, but it's very hard to use, and if you don't do it correctly, it can easily just pinch and hurt you all day. Here we have a normal tie. So now we're going to put it on. So to tighten it, you go to the back and you pull the little part. So now I'm like a zipper tie when it's already pre-slipped. Pull it in until it's at a comfortable position. And then you pull down the collar. And then it's often best to tuck it in. There are either like one or two roll hangs to tuck it into. And it's great for just keeping it from flapping around. Okay, next we have a tie that we have not tied yet. And this is the one we're going to be demonstrating off. So, take off this one. Okay, so now we're going to teach you how to tie the double ones or not. So, so if you want to adjust the tie, then you want to use these buttons as marks. Generally, like a third or fourth button. Find out what works for you. And now, put the big part over the small part. And down. And up. And down through. Like that. Tie it tight a bit. It can look a bit weird, but... It's, that's because we're only halfway through, pretty much. And adjust if necessary. And now we're going to move it on and through. Except this time we're going upwards through here. Now we're going to go down through this hole just above the small one. Now we're going to what known as uh, dressing the tie, which is like tightening it and adjusting the knot so that it looks good. It, uh, you know, make it that right shape, kind of like an upside down pentagon, I'd say. One ten depends on what the rotation you think of a pentagon. And down here, I said, we want to tuck it in just so it's not just flapping around. And that is how you tie a double into knot. Check in there and see if your tie is centered and your collar isn't crooked. So today we learned about the different kinds of ties and the pros and cons of each tie. And we learned how to tie a double Windsor knot. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to Random Doodle Time. We put out new videos all the time.